In today's video, we're gonna do battle with our DIY Flak Panzer in our A36 Apache dive bomb. All right guys, we are back. And when I say back, I mean we are back at the shop, which means the projects are back. So today, what we are doing is we are picking up where we left off before we went into the quarantine content, and that is with our Flak Panzer versus the A36 Apache. If you guys haven't seen those last two videos, definitely go check them out. Basically, we made a giant Apache dive bomber. <laughs> <laughs> as well as a Flak Panzer anti-aircraft tank. Side right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh Josh. Goodness, Today's the day that we're going to arm both of those so they are able and capable of battle, and we're going to have them go all out against each other in a Flak Panzer versus Apache battle. Now, I believe they're already getting busy painting this Apache up to make it look awesome. So let's go inside and see what's going on. Look at this, dude. Oh yeah. This is looking nice. So uh, we started out with the just plain white airframe and then uh, I used some uh, steel wool to scuff the whole entire plane. And then uh, after we scuffed the whole entire plane, I took a paper towel with some alcohol and I wiped it down to get a really nice clean surface on it. So we did the gray first actually. Um, it was like kind of like the base coat. Didn't really matter if we got part of the gray where the green was because the green was gonna go over top of it. So we masked off all the places where the green was gonna be, and then we painted the green over top of the gray. These are actually the decals for the canopy. We're, we're starting with the canopy. My dad's over there getting the other decals ready. After that, we're gonna decal the whole entire plane, make it look pretty, and then... Yeah. Then we gotta figure out how to make it deadly. Exactly. So we can fight the tank. Exactly. Okay, so in the War Thunder game that we actually got the inspiration for building this A36 Apache and also happens to be the sponsor of this video, you can do all kinds of really cool customization to your planes and you can really kind of mock them up to really make them your own unique plane. Now, for those of you guys who aren't familiar with War Thunder, War Thunder is a military vehicle combat online game that's free to play and you can play it with your friends. Now, the best part about it is you can play it on PC and when I say PC, I mean Windows, Mac, Linux. It also will work on consoles, it'll work on PS4 and Xbox One, which is pretty cool. And it's also cross-platform, which is huge these days in the gaming realm. So it doesn't matter what kind of consoles or PCs you and your friends have, you guys can all play together, which in my opinion is amazing. Beyond the amazing battles that you're gonna be able to experience in War Thunder, it also has an incredible arsenal of more than 1,500 historically accurate playable tanks, aircraft, helicopters, and ships, all the way from the 1930s all the way up to the 1990s. So it doesn't matter what your favorite airplane is or your favorite tank, you're gonna be able to find it in War Thunder. Beyond that, it features massive combined arms battles on over 80 major battlefields from World War II to the end of the Cold War. Another thing that I really like is it doesn't matter what kind of battle games you're into because War Thunder has three distinct game modes for all types of players. You can choose arcade for quick combat action, realistic if you're looking for more challenging tactical encounters, or if you're like me and you actually want to feel like you're really flying a real airplane, there's a simulator mode which basically makes the flying experience as realistic as possible. So here's the best thing about all of this is like I said earlier, you can play War Thunder for free and you can play it anywhere. You can play it on PS4, you can play it on Xbox, you can play it on PC. But beyond that, if you check out our specific link in our description below, not only are you gonna be able to play for free, but you're also gonna get an account boost as well as an aircraft or a tank or a ship as a bonus, which is pretty awesome. So again, check out that link in our description below. By doing so, not only are you gonna get a sweet game that you can play for free, but also you're helping us out a ton and we cannot thank you guys enough. Now, there's all kinds of cool Apache paint schemes in War Thunder, but specifically for our build today, what we're gonna be basing this off of is it's the only A36 Apache that's still airworthy. It's actually owned by a foundation called the Collins Foundation, and they're known for having a whole huge collection of really rare vintage warbirds. I've always just thought, I've seen this plane in person at Oshkosh, and I've always thought that this A36 Apache just has the coolest paint scheme. And so that's kind of what we're gonna be basing it off of. And we mentioned it in the earlier video, but for those of you guys that aren't familiar with the A36 Apache, basically the A36 Apache is a variant of the P51 that was specifically designed to do air to ground attack. So the cool thing about it is not only did it have the capability of carrying about 1,000 pounds of bombs, but it also was armed with some browning machine guns too. So it, was, it proved to be a very deadly airplane during World War II 
too, and it specifically served in a lot of different areas over the war, but it was really well known for its ground attacks in the Mediterranean, I believe in Africa, and there were about 500 of them total made as this A36 variant, which is pretty cool. So right now what we're doing is we're kind of going based off the Calling Foundation's A36, and we're kind of laying out their graphics on vinyl, and we're gonna be cutting that vinyl out on a vinyl cutter, and we're gonna be placing it on the plane to make it look just like the real deal. So we got our A36 Apache baby camera, and I got this Google search here, and there's something really cool about the logos. They're not typical. If you look here, these logos have a red ring around them. I'm not sure the, the historical significance, but I really want to create that as accurately as possible. So uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm taking those logos, recreating it in Corel. Ultimately, we're going to cut it out of vinyl, and then we're going to go ahead and apply it to the airplane. The thing I'm most excited about is the scoop in the front. The scoop yeah. in the front just makes this thing so iconic, but also really mean looking. So uh, as soon as he's done with the, uh, the decals that I have for him, he's going to go ahead and form that nose piece, get it painted, get it glued onto the airplane. Uh, our goal by the end of the day, this is going to go from looking like just a very plain uh, foam board airplane to something that's a piece of history. All right, so Noah, we got the uh, Mustang. It's just about done here. Yep. I got some more decals I need to, uh, to design for you to stick on, but in the meantime, we need to build some bombs for this. So went ahead and designed some basic 3D bombs. Uh, Noah, you're gonna go ahead and start building on those while yep. I go ahead and finish off on the decals. Hopefully by the end of the day, we'll be able to see, number one, what are we gonna put into these bombs and also how they're gonna look against the airplane. It flies! I feel like such a job right now. <laughs> what are the chances that that would work that well? I don't know, but all I know is that this is, I would buy this from like Walmart, no joke. So we're thinking a couple different things. We're thinking of loading this up with either paintballs or eggs or tomatoes. Whatever's gonna make the biggest splash on this guy's head. <laughs> I feel great about it. Feel, feel like that was just, I was born to, to get splashed on whatever it is. Look at this, dude. <laughs> it seems like you've been busy. That was that was a late night dream here. Um, I want this thing to drop. You remember like how many times we tried to drop things and the mechanism just it's didn't hard. work? Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't always work. Uh, there were times I tried to drop pumpkins and watermelons and for that matter turkeys, and like the, the delay of the opening was so bad I couldn't hit the broadside of the barn. This is a lot different than the A10 where we had a gun where we were able to kind of barrel down and shoot at things. You know, we got to actually drop it. So I wanted a, a reliable release mechanism. So basically, I got a little safety pin, but this servo. We'll rotate out, and then imagine the plane's coming down, and it, it just has a positive release. So you actually just came back from the grocery store, yep. uh, getting some what, tomatoes, some eggs. We got rice. everything we need for some carnage. Everything we need for carnage. We want this to like explode and go everywhere. So oh. uh, you had the idea of cutting louvers into it, so I went ahead and did that. We got the bomb release, and then that's what we're gonna be putting on the Apache to ultimately drop, and then I gotta try to hit something with it. So hopefully we'll have this ready in about five minutes, and uh, we'll take it up we and- do uh, some science. Do some science, yeah. <laughs> now, we can, we can load up whatever ammo we want in this case, tomatoes. <laughs> and then imagine this olive drab. We have a, a, a strip of tape. This will key right in. That's awesome. <laughs> and we have our, we have our bombs. That's, that's quite a bit of weight. I mean. Yeah, that's, you think it's gonna carry that all that weight, two of them? I think it'll carry the weight, but um, they're definitely gonna drop together. They have to drop at the same time yeah. or we're gonna have what we had with the P-47 and the rubber ducks. Looks awesome with the ducks on it. Oh, man. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out to our balcony. We have a patio down below. We're gonna do some test drops to just check proof of concept and see basically what makes the best splatter and the most damage. All right, Jay Bix. This is the uh, the bomb testing site over here. What was the uh, bomb testing site where they test the nuclear bombs? Bikini, bikini, uh, bikini bottom. That's SpongeBob. That's SpongeBob. <laughs> 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 Let's try the tomatoes first, and I'm gonna try to, to just kinda, okay. We're gonna try this, okay, you guys ready? Yep. Five, four, three, two, one. It's splattered all right. You missed the truck, bro. <laughs> I totally missed. I'm not an athlete, man. <laughs> that noise is pretty awesome. All right, so we got our we got our eggs here. Yep. Hopefully this will be a little bit more rewarding. You guys ready? I'll just drop this one. 
Three, two, one. Yeah! Oh, oh that's so sad. <laughs> okay, it's just like dying slowly. Well, that was about the same almost. It leaks out a lot afterwards, but it wasn't like the explodey nature I think we were looking for. And so what if you what if you put a wall and so it had nowhere to go except like, out? Like maybe like a plywood wall? Oh yuck. They're all they all just went down into this cone. What if we roll a pointed cone on the very bottom so we flatten it off and so that way you could even go as simple I think as like a wedge and all the eggs on top. What you could even do too is you could put some kind of weight on top of the egg when they smush. Put a tomato on the egg. Put a tomato on top of the egg. <laughs> yeah. That's the best of both worlds. Eggs and ketchup and eggs. We uh, we like eggs and we like tomatoes. What we're thinking is we're gonna take the weight of a nice girthy tomato. We're gonna put the tomato on the eggs. And when the inertia hits that tomato, it's gonna crunch the eggs into the cone, causing it to come out the sides. So that's the goal. Hopefully it'll work better. We'll see. Basically, there this was like a big old cup. So what's been done now is there's big open holes on all the bottoms here. And we're gonna go ahead and put the eggs in carefully. So we're gonna put a tomato on the top here. And hopefully when this hits the hits the bottom, the tomato will go through and then just awesome. everything out. Love it. So Are we ready to test? We're ready to test. All right, let's do it. All right, you ready? We're ready. You ready? Okay. Three, two. One. Oh! Yeah! Much better. <laughs> That's nasty. That is that is gross. It's not whether it's tomatoes or eggs. It's eggs and tomatoes. <laughs> That's what. what we're gonna do next? We gotta go back inside and we have to get the tank ready. The tank needs to be ready for battle. Currently, it's a ground to ground tank. We need it to be a ground to air tank turned into a true flak panzer. And we got some cool ideas, so let's head back in the shop, get back to work. Awesome. All right, so the tank is still pristine here. And it's still a ground attack tank, and we gotta change that. So Josh, what are we doing? What do we got so in mind here for this? What we're gonna do is we're gonna change out the top piece, uh, which normally has a long barrel on it now for a flak Panzer barrel. Yeah. It's nothing but a mushroom. That's all it is is a mushroom. And yeah, the black panzer is honestly kind of goofy looking, uh, but I think it's gonna be great with stepping inside it. Yeah, so the, the regular panzer looks pretty cool actually. Flak panzers, not so much. It was purely function basically. They had, a, I think the early flak panzers had a turret on the top. And actually in War Thunder, you can see all the different variations of the different panzers. Uh, but basically they're like, hey, we have a panzer tank. Let's make it shoot airplanes. And so they put an aircraft turret on top and they're like, oh, hey, this guy's really exposed. So like version two or three of the flak panzer, they eventually built this armored thing. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. So Noah cut out some foam on the laser and we're gonna get building and we gotta replace this top piece and make it anti-aircraft flak panzer. That's one way to do it. <laughs> Okay, so we are here in the final moments before the battle commences and we have all of the finishing touches going on. We have a bomb assembly station over there. Chris is working on, Noah is working on the final details of the tank. And over here we have Josh who's finalizing the A36 Apache. So Josh, wh where are we? What's going on? We are, uh, we're gluing in the bomb drops here and these are gonna be a permanent fixture. And then we have it wired to our Aura 5. And then ultimately we'll put the eggs and the tomato and all that stuff in there. We tape on our tail cone, and then that sucker will just drop right in here. Very nice, like that. very nice. And then releases it, boop, she goes. We got a whole bunch of bombs painted and ready to go. We can always make more on the fly if we need to, but hopefully we'll be pretty accurate because Maddie put the FPV rig on the back tail. This makes it such a cool view, but also super, super accurate because you get to see the whole entire airplane, see what's in front of you. It's just an incredible view to fly from. All right, so this is our nose weight of tomatoes and eggs and all that good stuff. And I'm flying and I see Stefan and I see the tank. 
I'm barreling down. Ah! <laughs> nice. That's the best bomb drop we've ever had. <laughs> I think it's a proof of concept. Yeah, it works a lot better than any bomb drop I can remember. So you just can't go to the hobby shop and actually buy a spinner, but our friend Cody uh, from our community here, he has a company called Stone Ridge Foam Concepts. He actually hot wired, cut this, and ran it down and dropped it off, so we'd have a huge spinner for this. And look at that. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> that is the complete look. That. That is the most important visual that's, piece of the plane, I think. It really brings it all together. That's the crown jewel, man. So uh, if you guys are looking to ever make your own spinners, John Overstreet on our tech channel did a really cool job taking you step by step how to turn one out of a, kind of like a lathe. Um, but you do gotta be careful doing it, so. So beyond the spinner here, we went ahead and added all the bombs that's also on the baby Carmen. I think we're ready to go fly here. We just gotta glue on our spinner. She's ready for a battery, some CG testing, and we're ready to do battle. Okay, so one of the best parts about being back here at Edgewater is obviously big projects, we're outside flying, but also I finally get to use my awesome sunglasses from Shady Rays, which if you don't know, is the official sunglass of flight test. And the best part about these is not only are they awesome sunglasses for flying, also every sunglass that they sell goes to 10 meals to help feed America, which is pretty cool. So without further ado, it's time to do some flying. All right, so somebody, I'm not sure who, did some World War II style messaging on here for Stefan, who's the enemy in the tank, just like they did back in the day on the bombs. So we got five egg bombs in there, and then we're gonna use the inertia of this mater right here. And the idea is when that hits the ground, the tomato's gonna smash the eggs, causing an egg tomato explosion. All right, and there you have it. This is the uh, tomato egg special, coming in hot from above. All right, so, the projects are done. The Apache, this thing has all the bells and whistles. Man, it was a blast here. We got high definition FPV. We have these awesome bombs that, you know, we get the eggs and the tomato in there. They're gonna make a mess. Uh, the release mechanism is done. We're ready to go to battle. Yeah, now you guys are probably wondering, what are you guys gonna do for the anti-aircraft flak panzer? And we've put a lot of thought into this. And we are, we're pretty proud of what we came up with for our design. We went with a very minimal design. It's something that you can do at home. And without further ado, check out our flak panzer. Now these guys are getting the tank and the Apache ready for battle. But before we take flight and we get in this battle, I wanted to ask you guys to consider subscribing. We're making videos like this all the time. We're making crazy stuff fly. We're putting stuff to head to head in battles. So to all of our subscribers, thank you guys so much. It's literally, we're out here on this field, Edgewater Air Park, doing what we do because of you guys. And if you're not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It's free and it helps us out so much. So without further ado, let's get to the battle. Alrighty, so all the pieces are in place. And there's a lot of pieces. Yeah, we got eggs, we got tomatoes, we got bombs, we got FPV, we got cameras, we got a chase drone, we got paintball guns, uh, we got a tank. All right, so how are you feeling about this launch? You got a lot of weight on that. Got thing. a lot of weight. Up, down, right, left. All right, we're ready. Good Three, luck, man. Two, one. Oh, she's piggy. Oh my goodness oh, but gracious! Oh, she flies God. nice. She's flying nice, though. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool in the air. How's it feel with all that weight? It feels amazing. Is it sluggish at all? Can you feel the She's weight? a little sluggish here. I, I'm gonna kinda come around the other way. Richard's gonna go the other way. Oh my gosh, FPV's amazing! All right guys, are we ready for this? All right, here comes the first bombing run. Stefan, I hope your tank makes it through this. We'll see buddy, I'm not sure. Good luck. It's lining up the shot. And the drop three. Yes! Yes! Oh my, did I get it? <laughs> <laughs> that is so close, you still have the bomb on. You have your left bomb on. How's it okay. feel with just one bomb on? Not, not good, but actually, you know what the funny thing is, is I got the ore on it, so it's helping me out. We got a bomb stuck on we there. We got a bomb stuck. You know what? How close did I get? I mean, we're talking six probably six feet. You're about a six feet away, yeah. That would have been a kill. Maybe even closer too. All Oops. right, I don't want to waste all my stuff, Stefan. I think it's time that we uh, we have some fun. How about if I just land this really quick? We'll get this bomb off. Okay. That's my round. Now it's your turn, buddy. All right, I'm gonna bring her in. Wow, this the FPV feed though is incredible. Are you are you landing your FPV? Oh, oh no, that's a drone. Oh, I thought I dropped on that car for a second. Coming in with one bomb. Hot bomb. Did I get off now? Nope, it's still there. I got it off yeah, now! I got it off now! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see eggs and grossness. 
<laughs> nice. All right, well, I counted on two tries, but at least we got within a few feet of it. I think it's time for Stefan to see Dude, you did great, man. Do. That was a really close, that's a close, your closest bombing run I think you've ever had. Oh my goodness. Hey, Jay Biggs, you got egg on the side of my flag yes. finger, bro. <laughs> ah, yes! What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Oh. Stefan, this is your chance for redemption, man. That's right, bro. You gotta go for the control surfaces. I'm gonna fly until the battery's dead, okay? All right, your plane should fly a lot better now without those <laughs> eggs and no tomatoes. No doubt. You all ready? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That looks like a, a lot different flying airplane. I want to do sketchy things, man. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna be coming from right to left, buddy. Round one. I'm gonna make machine gun noises in my heart. Stefan, he's got a weird look in his eye, man. Oh, look at that, man, that looks so cool. Check, check, check. Ooh. Ooh. Stefan. went right past me. Come on, Stefan. You gotta do better than that, man. You're a flak panzer, come on. Come on I love the noise. Oh, he's yeah, got, he's you. got a <laughs> Dude, how cool does that look in the air? Josh, how's it fly, man? It flies just, oh, so easy. I love it. Here he comes. It's such a different plane without like four pounds of tomatoes in it. <laughs> Here you go, I'll give you another one. Oh, dude, you're peeling something back. Oh, listen to it now. Did you hit the nose cone? Oh, he's hitting the... Oh, I'm, I'm... Battery's dead. Battery's dead. Emergency landing, Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> he's not lined up. No. All right, well, he got more hits than me. You win, Stefan. <laughs> yeah, I think it's safe to say Stefan and the Flak Panzer, Team Flak Panzer wins this one. Oh, man. All right, you know what? Paintballs versus airplanes has to be done again. Yeah. This thing is Swiss cheese. <laughs> Holy cow, man. I thought it was just painting it. You're blowing yeah. holes in my plane. Oh my <laughs> he, God. You hit my spinner. Look at my spinner. Very Dude, look what you did to my plane. Dang, Dude, dude. that is epic. Uh, you got some blue paint on there. There's some blue paint. I like the green and the yellow and the red better than blue. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> There's a lot of holes. Here's a crazy thing. There's a point where the pitch of my prop changed. And I know why, because you actually hit my spinner. That's awesome. That's incredible. That's <laughs> incredible. That's a dead, dead on hit, bro. Well, dude, nicely done. Flak <laughs> Panzer Man. Oh, There's no. egg. There's egg all over yeah. the Flak Panzer. Egg on a Flak Panzer. And, and there's a lot of paintball on me, so yep. that's good. So friends, we want to thank you guys for watching and also thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so because it really helps us out a lot. Also, a huge shout out to War Thunder for sponsoring this video and make sure you go download it because it's free. Do you know what? More paintballs, more airplanes. Let us know what you want to see us shoot at next. See you next time. See you guys. <laughs> Dude.